Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever it is when you are doing this lesson. It is day two of history at home. We are still learning about sectionalism, about how exactly America is getting torn apart. Today, we're focusing specifically on bleeding Kansas. And so today we're looking at a very specific piece of legislation. So a new law that's going to be passed that's going to lead to Americans basically attacking each other in the state of Kansas. And that's why it becomes known as Bleeding Kansas. Now, you guys are going to have quite a few things to do. None of it's going to be incredibly time consuming, but it's going to be pretty straightforward. So our focus for today is... DQ, that's what I like about history. How did the Kansas and Nebraska Act further divide Americans? Now, let me go ahead and move me because I'm in the way. As usual, how did the Kansas and Nebraska Act further divide Americans? So yesterday, you guys, or whenever you guys did it, we learned about basically the major players involved in how the United States is going to get broken apart right before the Civil War. Today, we're going to figure out one of those other pieces that will help figure out how exactly this country is going to get pulled apart. And the Kansas-Nebraska Act is going to be one of those things. So today, you guys, let's see, let me put me in a spot that'll work. You guys have several things you're going to do. On this slide right here, you're going to be reading this, these three paragraphs, okay? And so I've given you guys a map up here, and then there's this image of this beautiful guy right here. That is Stephen Douglas. You'll learn more about him today. And then you guys are going to use what you learned to answer three basic questions. Um, they're pretty straightforward, and I tried to make sure that each question comes from one of the paragraphs just to keep your life a little bit more straightforward. Um, and then we're going to come on and we're going to look at these three maps. These three maps are all of different periods in American history. One is from the Missouri Compromise in 1820. Uh, one is the Compromise of 1850. And then the last one at the bottom right here is the Kansas and Nebraska Act and how it changes the way that slavery is going to be involved and in, in kind of how new states are brought into the Union. Okay, So you're going to be examining these three maps, seeing what exactly is going on. And then you'll be using that to answer these basic questions about kind of how things are changing from 1820 to 1854. Pretty straightforward. Then what you guys are going to do is you're going to come on this map right here and you're going to say, OK, look, place the K, which, oops, place the K and the N on the Kansas and Nebraska territory. And now, as I'm saying this, you're probably like, that's really easy. Well, that's OK. I want you to be able to have some easy stuff. And so you'll drag your K and your N. You'll put them on the territory where they should be. OK. Um, then this is going to be a little bit trickier. And so I'm including a primary source, so a piece of uh, a political cartoon that was used during the period, kind of explaining how people feel about the Kansas and Nebraska Act. But you have to look at this political cartoon to see how exactly they feel about it. OK, so you'll look at this primary source and then you come here and you're going to say, OK, what is the title? And then you're going to list everything. So we're just observing. And it's very straightforward stuff that we did together in class. And you're just going to basically observe everything you see right there. Then down here at the bottom, you're going to basically include your opinion. on how do you think this author felt about the Kansas and Nebraska Act? OK. And then we're going to keep going and you have one more set of reading. Again, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And again, this is going to be about when Kansas basically becomes bloody. And so you guys are going to be looking at how exactly are these kind of violent little bits kind of erupting in Kansas as a result of the Kansas and Nebraska Act. Now, there is also a video, very short, very easy. Um, oops. Oh, OK. So you do have a video um, and then you also have a set of questions to round it out. And that's it. So again, today, guys, you're focusing specifically on the Kansas and Nebraska Act, and how exactly it is going to lead to further division within the United States. Very straightforward, very easy. We're hanging out in Kansas. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at another piece of uh, legislation that's going to kind of really change the way that the country works. But today, we're just worried about Kansas and how we get it bloody. Okay? If you guys have any questions, go ahead and just send them to me, and I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Good luck, guys. Don't forget to turn it in when you're done. Have fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.